got that big bone structure. He's got that unbeaten record as well. Just one blemish. He had a draw in his third fight. And Carol Atalma, very talented southpaw. And what you may start hearing over commentary are instructions in Slovakian. And that would actually be from the Italma corner. Moses Italma calls out. Good right hook from Italma. When Moses is fighting, Carol calls out instruction as well. I've spoken to Carol about this before. He says he always hears the voice of Moses. It could be a packed out stadium and he's boxed in those. Boxed on the undercard of Fury White and the undercard of Fury Chisora. Good shot, good backhand. He gets through that backhand there. What's good as he is, just being patient with it. Good shot. He is patient. He's a very patient boxer. Very poised. And gets through. He's, that backhand he's got the time. attention of, of Sagetti there. Just backed him into the corner there. Sagetti just clings on. As you can see, Moses Italma on camera bellowing instructions in Slovakian to his brother. The Every just had to give Sagetti a little ticking off there. Very vocal in the corner. Looking for that backhand, Itama. It's landed a few times. And Sagetti holds on. The referees had to bring them apart a few times. Just can't let Sagetti get too close. But it makes it messy. He's put on a good, put on a good shot. It's a body shot that slipped through from Carol Itama as well. And this is a good start from Carroll, this is confident. He's finding the shots, he's landing the shots. There's a couple of times he's got Sagetti's attention so far already. Just be careful the council, you can't get caught with the council at end. Last 10 seconds. And Sagetti. Once getting in close and just sort of grabbing on in those moments. Uh, yeah, good, but good first round. Yeah, certainly a Carol of time around. We're looking at Moses there. Of course, the younger brother. Four years between them. Carol Atama turned pro in 2020 during lockdown. Turned pro on the undercard of Anthony Yard and Lyndon Arthur. One of those lockdown shows. Of course, Moses Atama only turned professional last year. January it was. It feels like he's been pro for a, for a long time. It feels like both of these Carol, both of these Italma brothers have been a while, uh, around for ages. It's good they've got such a good profile. Yeah. Particularly obviously with Moses hoping to become the youngest heavyweight champion, world champion. And obviously the way he's been blasting people out. Obviously the, the, the Italma name's a very big name. Yeah, but you're right, it does feel like they've been pros a lot yeah, longer. Yeah, it really does. A lot longer. And there's another brother as well and he's just had his first Shut amateur up. fight. Uh, and he, he was victorious, so uh, I think that we'll be hearing from the Italma brothers for a long time in boxing. A lot of talent, fighting the right blood. To the body. Do that and then come over the top of the right hook. That's it, they just like preoccupied with the jab to the body, then come over the top. Good. Good right hook. It's frustrating because I almost want to shout. <laughs> I almost <laughs> want to tell him the backhand. <laughs> What's he doing well so far, Nathan? Well, this this round he's, he's preoccupying with the low. He's just changing the height level of the shot. So he jab to the body, jab to the, and then right to the head. See, so he's preoccupying with the body shots. That, so his opponents expecting him to go low. Then as he goes low, he can faint, go low, and then go over the top of the right hook. 
because he's, he's expecting. He's just, he should be setting traps essentially, which is what he's doing. The trap being get him response to the body, but go to the top of the head. Just got him backed up against the ropes there, Sugetti. Just gets a little ticking off there from the referee, Lee Avery. But this time he could now come back to the body, but then go with a straight left to the top of the head. So we might go to the jab with the body. His opponent will then expect a, a right hook to be coming, but then if he switches it to the left hook instead. Tell you what, Sugetti is getting a little bit marked up as well. He's not enjoying this so far, that stern face off before the first bell. Doesn't look so stern now. He's starting to look just a little bit more weathered. Plenty of success from Karol Itama through these first two rounds. Just over a minute left here in the second. He's looking for that uppercut. Sagetti. He's just he should, smug, he, he should get back there. to what he was doing before. Just to get the jab to the body, preoccupying, then come over the top. Keep the range. Good left hook there. Good left hook there. It hurt him, Adam. That's good left hook. Looks like he's just clinging on there. It's a little warning for the shoulder. Another warning for Sagetti. A little ticking off from the referee. He's pinned into the corner briefly. A couple of body shots slip in there from Carol Itelma. Again, Sagetti just making it a little bit messy, trying to smother Itelma in there. Little sneaky shots on the back of the head. I'm sure he'll get another ticking off for that as well. And he does. Wonderful better. counter there. Just invited him in, Carol Atama, and then came back with something pretty big. Patiently See now. See when he's straight back on the jab to the body, he controls it completely. Ten That's seconds left shot, here in the second round. Begins this weird thing when you're boxing. If something's working, you almost feel like something's going to go wrong in a second, so you stop doing what's great. Because almost you feel like, why does it keep working? If it's working, don't change it. Just yeah. The only thing he needs to probably change is, like I say, he's going to jab, right down, jab to the body, and then going for a right to the head. So he's pretty upright. What he could do is, the opponent could go to the right hand to the body. Instead of going to the right hook, which the opponent's going to expect, he can then switch it to the left hook. Just keep changing. It's been a good first two rounds yeah. though for Carol Itelma. You yeah, can see Sagetti is trying to. Uh, make it messy in there he's already got ticked off a few times from the referee getting a bit of instruction from his corner but that's what they're meant to do they're meant to make it messy yeah. they, they try, they, they're there to ruin you and spoil you but by someone like Carol his old background is based on being able to hit and not get hit in that range I like seeing it I like seeing it stay back into the jab to the body and then mix up to the head you can see the ringside area get more full now, Francis Warren. See, can manager. every time controls it with that jab to the body. And then he could just change the level at the top with the whatever shot he selects. That's to keep that jab to the body. <laughs> As Nathan Heaney is now actually bellowing instructions to Carol Itama. He's seen something. Whatever he's saying is working, Nathan. Straight back to the body. And then another shot to the head, that's it. Then switch the levels to the top. Good. Sorry, sorry, I'm on the mic here. <laughs> we can, of course, we can hear Nathan Heaney in the mic. He is shouting at Carol Atoma, but whatever he is saying is working. Stalkin gets good. through with the good, left, good. gets through with the right, that's opening up a little break, bit but, here. But break up the distance now, because he's covering up. He's in a shell, so it's very hard to break when they're in a shell like that. He's come out swinging, but again, clinging on. But he's just starting to ship a few there. He, he's, he's, he's busting them up a little bit. You can see, you can see his face is red. In. And th this isn't a, a circuit fighter. This is no journeyman. This is an unbeaten, an unbeaten fighter. fighter yeah. And Carol well, Atama, that's a see, big left. Just like that. Just like that. Jab to the body. He went for the straight left to the straight left to the head this time. Again, Sagetti just just kind of making it messy in there. But when Atama just gets that little bit of distance. And that was wonderful there. When he gets that little bit of distance, he lands his shots. He's backing him into the corner now. Big if left he hand. This, he'll stop him. If he keeps doing this, he'll stop him. Because you can see he's slowly he's breaking down. He's breaking down. Looking a bit more ragged. A bit more weathered now, Sagetti. 
he is being systematically broken down right here tonight at the Copper Box by Carol Itauma. Good shot coming back though. Well, that's where he needs to be. He needs to just stay switched on. Doesn't want to get into a swing up with Sagetti. Doesn't need to. No, he doesn't need to. He, needs to if he, he just needs to get the range again and break him down with that jab to the body, what he was doing before. No, the jab to the body's not really the one that's causing any damage. It's just preoccupying him to set up for the shot for the top. Good movement, good movement. Just teasing with that, that lead hand. He's definitely feeling the pace though. 400% feeling the pace. Yeah, you can you can see it. There's there's not a lot of uh, sort of attacks being mounted. He's just sort of slowly backing up and, and being backed up as well by Atama. Yeah. Three rounds complete here. Scheduled for eight in the Sagetti's light heavyweight division. And as we've just seen, Sagetti just kind of slump on his stool. Not on the screen at the moment, of course, we're looking at Carol Atama, but I've got Sagetti in front of me, slouched onto his stool. Eight rounds. Eight rounds Eight this rounds. is scheduled okay. for. And he doesn't look as interested as what he did at the very start of the fight. If, you, if you're looking like that after four, well, in the fourth round, you're feeling the pace big time. He is feeling the pace. And when you suck half the fight left, it's not a good sign. Not a good sign. Have you ever been in that position, Nathan? When, uh, um, I, yeah, I have actually. Yeah, when I boxed behind closed doors in this exact arena against Ryan Oliver. Obviously, I, I fight with a massive crowd that can, can, that can spur you on and you, you feel like you've got endless energy, but... But he'd been so quiet there. I went out the first round trying to blast him out. And he went nowhere. Round five, I remember thinking, oh my goodness, I've still got another five rounds left. And I was really feeling the pace. Well, Sagetti may be feeling the pace too. Very slow off his stool. Carol Atama was straight up. And gets through with a the backhand there. Jab to the body. That's not going to help with his... Uh, I mean, it will help fatigue, certainly, Sagetti. <laughs> These little sneaky little jabs to the body. You can't get anything but going. But it's making him think the whole time. Yeah. But he could jab up if he wants to. Carl could jab up instead of just down to jab his body. Mix up, head, body, jab the head, jab the body, jab the body, jab the head. Oh, got snuck, snuck in a little right hand there. Just don't there. get too close. Well, that's where Sagetti wants it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and, and, and it ruins Carl's work. Lovely, Lovely jab. Lovely jab. Get jab down. Lovely jab, Lovely jab. That jab is working every time. He's got a, a wand of a jab. Well, he says he's maturing. He says he's Lovely getting jab, better good. with every fight. It's working. but then keep the range. The work, work to the body there as well. Lovely right Wonderful hook. right hand, and that did actually get through that one as well. Sagetti once again just kind of tying up. It's referee Lee Every brings them apart. This will be another exhausting round for Eros Sagetti, pinned in the corner currently from Carol Itauma. Sagetti pushing the head down. But well, like Carl's just breaking down at range though. He doesn't need to get too close. Just under a minute left here in the fourth round. That's it, squeeze, get a little bit close. Stabbing down, stabbing down, doing full flat. Good, good, good shot. Trying to sort of goad him good in there. Hand. Yeah, he's, but he do that for a reason. They're trying to play mind games, oh, I'm OK, I'm OK, but really, he's really feeling it. When they play mind games like that, you know, they, they are feeling it, they're doing it for a reason. Four rounds in. Yeah, four rounds in, yeah. Just patiently kind of stalking him. So, yet he's still got some life in him here. But as you say, by the, these kind of goading methods, perhaps indicative of 
Rugby's strength bar going down. He's outclassing him. Yeah. Carlos outclassing him. 100%. It, it, Another good round. It's a good round. It feels like a mature performance from Carol yeah, Atalma. So, yeah, so, so far, far, really, really good. Like, look at the face of Carol Atalma. He's, he's got plenty left in him. He's barely breathing. He's, 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 on the other. he's really feeling it. But that's why I want, I want Carl to keep doing what he's doing now. It's just that little jab to the body. Although he's not really hitting that much, he's still got to breathe. Hoop, hoop, breathe every single time. And that takes a little bit away from the opponent. But hopefully we should open up a gap for him to let that left or right suit land when he's going to throw it. His last two fights went the distance, it's Alma, but fantastic <laughs> learning rounds for Carroll. And tonight has been a very, very mature performance through four rounds. We head into the fifth. Eros Sagetti. His unbeaten record in genuine jeopardy here. He's lost every round so far. That's it, post him in the jab. And then bring the backhand look in. Opens up to the body there. Jab the body left to the edge. As Nathan Healy bellows his instructions, which do seem to work every time. You want him working more to the body, Nathan? What? No. Yeah, for the, with the jab, just so we can set up the left hook to the head or the right hook to the head, whichever one. Moving about awkwardly at the moment, Sagetti. He's squeezing well. In terms of he's just moving his, his feet inside, Carol Talman. Well, a, a kind of strange moment there. Uh, uh, we've just seen Sagetti kind of uh, shout and throw out his, uh, his gum shield at, at the same time. It's now back in, action resumes here, and action resumes with a with a, a cracking jab right to the face of Sagetti from Carol Etelma. That jab has barely missed all night. Once again, pinning Sagetti in the corner. You just feel if he if he gives himself that Sagetti little bit of distance, but if he finds that distance, you feel like he he could open up and, and start having even more success, Etelma. Absolutely, I think he's just, just needs to squeeze in a little bit more. Just a little bit closer. But really should be making the most of it when see when he's it's here. There's, there's an escape route oh, for Sagetti. Oh, wonderful. Sigeti's Left shot. hand lands there. There's an escape route for him, but when Sagetti's on the ropes, that's why he should. There's nowhere yeah. to go. So he should just be squeezing, jab to the body, jab to the head. Well, he's, bang, just, bang. he's just turned the pace up here now with Talma. He's just started moving Sagetti about. His legs are going all over the shop. Keep well, squeezing. He taunts it, Talma. Sagetti. Good. But the right hand gets through very clean. It was that big left hand that got him going. He's been manoeuvring towards the ropes, and when there's no escape, oh, good shot. Another exactly, huge exactly left hand. No escape route to keep him working, but keep it in range. There's no escape route. He ain't gonna worry. He can complete, completely control the range. We're approaching the end of the fifth round here. Good rolling under there by Carroll. Roll straight on the right, not the left hook. Yeah, it looks like also that the right eye of Sagetti may well be closing up a little bit then. Something to keep an eye on for what's left in the fight. But that was a big, big round for Carroll Italma. A couple of times he really, uh, really rocked Sagetti back. Yeah, he got some good shots. Particularly the backhand. Uh, I think it was a straight left hand that he threw. And they're keeping an eye on that. It was, it's the left eye, in fact, that they're keeping a very close eye on there. Getting the end swell on it. I like that pun. Close eye. <laughs> Carol Itama in his corner, still not breathing. Sagetti very much breathing.
That wasn't his best round in the fight yet, though. I think he took his foot off the gas a little bit. Cal, he did get some good clean shots, so. Yeah, he rocked his head back a couple of times. I think he can go through the gears now. Cal looks good, he looks fresh. Yeah, I mean, there was God, a moment. Lovely jab. Wonderful, wonderful great, jab. Great jab. Another great jab. Then bring it down to the body as well. It's such a great way to start the round. It's Alma just coming out and straight great jab. away. Great backhand. Getting that jab out there. Lovely. He's going through the gears now. Yeah, you can see it switching. There were moments in the last round where he did just switch through it a little bit. I think at this stage... He could, bring, he could bring the straight left straight down the pipe as well. Obviously, he's bringing the, the, the right the right jab to the body and then the left to the head. But he could bring the jab to the head and then spear to the body with the backhand. Lovely roll under. I think Itam was very comfortable with what he's got in front of him now, so he he can move through the A gears great jab here. again. Great, great jab. jab. It's ev every That's time. what he needs, just like that. Bust. Everything builds Go up. Straight right. to the body, that's it. That's the one. Good jab. The jab has been so much better this round. Good backhand. He's breaking him. He's going through the gears. Then he wants to get straight back in the range now. Keep the range again. Don't let him spoil it. That's a little warning there from the referee. Sagetti, not his first tonight. That's oh, it. Just down and then again. up. Down and then up. Yeah, the variety on that jab. That's that amateur pedigree. Great though. jab. That's great the... jab. Again, this, this is better. Like I said, his last one wasn't his best round. This one is by far his best round yeah, in the fight. Yeah, by he's, far. He's setting everything up as well. And it's jabs to the body, it's jabs to the head. A great Another jab again. It's the jab this round, it's just been so much difference. And it must be demoralising if you are Sagetti in there. He can't seem to get out of the way of it. Backhand, great backhand. But this is what's going to break Sagetti. And it Good. is beginning to break Sagetti. This is what's going to break him. Backed up into this the corner there. Prodding and hitting lovely backhand to the body. That's the one I wanted to see him doing. And that eye doesn't look in great shape either from Sagetti. That left eye. Excellent run so far. 35 seconds left and he's done he's perfect. Yeah, as he just has a little look at his corner as well, Sagetti. His corner are calling out instructions to him. I'm not sure any of these instructions are giving him much luck here tonight. He can't get out of the way of the jab. And right now, he can't get out of the way of a brilliant performance so far from Carol Itama. Mature, picking his shots wisely, listening to Nathan Heaney ringside. <laughs> Good short suit, right suit there. The, the most best thing about this round, though, is the use of his jab. He, yeah. kept, the, he kept the range the whole time. But he must have hit him with about 20 jabs there. Couldn't miss. And it's those, but it's those jabs that can allow him to set up the other shots. He got the backhand in there as well. Some little short rides to get right at the end of the round. That was by far his best round in the fight so far. Yeah, and the Sagetti corner are giving more and more attention to that that left eye. Just sustaining more and more damage. Two rounds left here. We're about to enter round number seven. We are scheduled for eight. And this, for me, is the best that Carol Atama has looked since his return after sustaining that defeat last year. I think he's... he's definitely got into the final. Obviously we're in round seven now, but, but before, I think he was, he, he, although his range was good, it wasn't his best level yet, but that, that last round, excellent. Well, seventh round, scheduled for eight here at the Copper Box Arena, the return of Olympic youth gold medalist Carol Itzalma. He's won Lovely every round so far. I want to see the exact same that he did in the last round. And that's the that's what's going to break him. Well, that's exactly what you're Lovely. getting, Nathan. Perfect. Two, three jabs, four jabs. Backhand to the body. But even if he doesn't get him out of there... Oh, no, but he may oh, well get him out the of there. The curse of the commentator. <laughs> I don't know if that was a stumble or a shot landed, but his legs didn't seem completely under him for a moment there. 
But let's not forget, he's against an, an undefeated fighter. Well, that's it. Well, Sagetta, he almost laid out Lee Every here. I think he'll have more success against Every than he would against Itelma. Itelma's doing as he pleases so far tonight through seven rounds. But he's starting to look more and more ragged now. It's Segeti. Yeah. Itama picking his punches very well. That jab has been the key all night. Well, it's from round five onwards where he's really using it effectively. And it's been... Oh, oh, shot. We get, but again, going back to his opponent, Segeti, he's an undefeated fighter. He's never lost before. And Carroll doesn't have to stop him to get to show an impressive performance so by beating a lad he'll be the first person that's beaten he's done it comfortably as well he absolutely because he is has. an awkward opponent he's awkward he's, the way he's moving very very tough as well you can tell he, you can tell he's tough he's got that ruggedness about him he is kind of protecting that that eye now that's a perfect range he kept the range perfect there but then waited a little bit too long now but he moved back and kept the range perfect Sneaky right hand from Itama there. Again, Sagetti ties him up. But again, Cal looks very comfortable. Like his, his face is nice and relaxed. Very comfortable. It doesn't even look like he's breathing. It, it feels like he could do this for another 10 rounds. He's actually, hopefully, in this last round, he'll go through the gears in this last one that's coming up. Excellent movement, excellent. Yeah, That's making him miss. Big, excellent movement. It's making Sagetti miss. It's been making him miss all night. Nice jab. Jab to the body. Good shot, oh, excellent shot. Certainly got through. Sagetti is that to go? grit his way all the way through this well he's only got to do it for one more round it feels like he probably will see out this fight but he certainly looks like he's been in a fight Carol Itama doesn't particularly look marked up or, or well, blemished at all it's been an excellent seven rounds so far yeah now will he go through it the gears just one last round and really go for it I think he certainly could like I say he looks very relaxed he looks very relaxed. Like yeah. He doesn't look like he's struggling. He's with his trainer, Dan Woolwich, there in the corner. Dan Woolwich, of course, was his amateur trainer as well, St Mary's in Chatham. <laughs> Same sort of area as Charlie Hickford, Hickford that we saw earlier on. <laughs> Referee just bring them together to touch gloves. Final round here. Eighth and final round, light heavyweight contest, Carol Itama, Eros Sagetti. Sagetti is unbeaten, but looks on the Ooh. cusp of losing his unbeaten record against Itama, though he did get through with one there. He's still got to be switched on there because if you're in Sagetti's corner, you say, listen, you've got to throw it now. Yeah. You've got to let it go. Well, look, he's you, proud. You, you, you've lost the first seven rounds. You've got to knock him out. This, so Carol's got to be very careful. This, this is a proud man, Nathan. You can tell that from the way he's still in there. He doesn't want to lose his unbeaten Absolutely record. Not. And he is swinging away, it, it, and he's it, making a fist of it in the final yeah. round here. This way, Sigeti's going to make it messy. Where ideally, Cal can step up, bop on Lego, and catch him on the way in, because he's opening up now. He is opening up, and Carol Atama just has to get out of this little situation he's found himself in he's found himself a bit of a second wind has Sagetti in the final round of this fight and he is a proud Italian man who does not want to lose his unbeaten record here tonight in London his first fight outside of Italy doesn't want to go home with an L well, well no but now 1 minute 30 into the round Carl should be sticking it right home that lad's worked really hard in that first yeah. minute and a half 
really hard. She's been making the most of this now. Go on, let it go. He should be punishing him now. That guy's gave everything in that first half of the round. Yeah, yeah he did. Oh, lovely check out there. And the jab as well to follow. Just over a minute left here in the final round. Carol Itama, Eros Negeti. I think you're right. I think Sagetti may well be spent from... He, he punched himself out. He yeah. didn't punch himself out. He went for it completely. And credit to him for going for it. Showing a lot of heart, a lot of pride. Around 40 seconds left in this round. He is spent. You can see him physically really a, a big end inhale of breath there. And Itama oh. may well find through, the shot through, here. 30 lovely. seconds to go. Said, go through, go through. Because Sagetti has got nothing left here in the final round. And Itam has got him in the corner. Around 20 seconds left. Sagetti just able to take the sting out of that situation. Push Itama's head down. Around 10 seconds left. And Sagetti will see this one out. But overall, he just looks for a final shot towards the end the round there pretty strongly Carlos pretty strongly all eight rounds Good there fight. excellent performance excellent performance from Carol Itama this will be win number 12 for him I mean for you Nathan did he win every round there tonight? Uh, the, the, the only the only success to get out was literally that first minute and a half of the round he, he put a lot into it but he wasn't catching anything he was just making it messy but then Cal's got the space, let the shots go, and then finish on strong. And again, yeah, I think he won every single round. We're well, having a look at Sagetti's eye there in the corner, just having a chat with the doctor. And uh, a good night's work for Carol Itama. Just there with his trainer, Dan Woolwich. Again, you can see he's got in the corner, Sagetti. Yeah, yeah, he's lost, yeah. He's lost some bit of record. But he gave it a good go. He's a, he's a proud man. Carol Atama really showed his, uh, his class tonight. We're going to now head over for the final word from our MC, Thomas Triver. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of boxing, our referee in charge, Lee Emery, scores in this contest 17-0.